<laughs> were you more for Sony or Nintendo? Where were you on that? I'm a Sony kind of girl. Listen, oh, yeah. Okay. I, if you, you can hear my PS4 running in the background. Oh. Really good. Like, <laughs> we got you on here to talk about your top five favorite video games all time. I determine my favorites by experience as far as video gaming because. Um, I feel like that's what makes the game what it is, is your experience playing with your friends, your brothers, your cousins, whatever. So, um, or just a different, or a specific time in your life where it just felt right. Are we doing an order or are you going out of order? You're are we? I don't, see, the thing is, I, they don't have to be, but I guess like, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it like random. Okay, so let's start with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Oh, this wow. is uh, 2010. I think this came out 2011. And I chose this game because I have spent many hours on that <laughs> game. Many of hours on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 because I there was a group of my of friends that I still play with to this day. I think this has been over a decade now, almost a decade. So right. playing with those people, I mean, hours after hours. And I, the funny thing is, <laughs> here I am shooting people online. I'm going to yoga school later. Uh, so here I, I'm, I'm a yoga, yeah, it's so funny. You're getting like, angry. Constantly. <laughs> and so I used to run like ballistic vests for the crew. And oh. um, we used to always, <laughs> yeah, we used to always run into packs. And um, I got really good towards the end. Like I got really good at it. Like now it's kind of like, it's been years. I'm playing the new Call of Duty, but it's not the same. I play actually with David Benoit, it's so funny. We're like always like, dang, these new guys, like these kids are so good. The next one would be the Herbs Sims in the City. <laughs> that game, I stayed up very late playing that too. At 2004, I was what, 11 maybe? Right. Yeah. I used to just, I always loved the Sims. I always loved the whole um, simulation kind of thing. Yeah, do you do the actual jobs in the Sim? I build the house and then I don't like make the guy go to work or anything. <laughs> well, you definitely have to make the person go to work. I mean, if you're not using cheat codes, you definitely have to because. Oh, why well, use cheat? Money. Right away, first thing I do is I put the money cheat in. That's the first thing I do. Mother load. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny. I did the same thing. <laughs> so, like my cop, I have um, different types of families on there that I played through as. Um, so currently, it's my character, Sunny All Year. Oh, <laughs> Sunny All Year, like Sunny Like in the Sky, I spelled it with the U. And yeah. then um, All Year, like A L L Y E E R. You know, with The Sims, you do have like these weird like names, yeah. like um, Nancy Landgrab or oh. <laughs> stuff like that. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so like right now, my, my, my playthrough is the, like two college roommates and Basically, they're, I came up with this whole story in my head, like their parents are rich and they bought them this house and they're living together and it's so <laughs> ridiculous. I'm such a little dork. Like, most people don't know this stuff about me, but it's so funny. I'm such a little dork. The other side of Sunny Kiss here. Yeah. <laughs> I love role playing. I'm like so into that. It's on the internet now, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. I remember I used to kill my Sims in very unique ways. Did you ever do that? Was that just me? No. Oh my God, that's so funny. No, I never ever did that. I, really? I actually was, no, I just, it was weird to me. Like, I don't want them to die. Like, I always have this weird kind of like feeling. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like whatever they feel, I feel. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, I do all types. Like, I build a pool, but then take the ladder out of the pool. Oh, or you build a room and you light fireworks off in the room. <laughs> I thought this was normal. So number three uh, uh, is going to be Revenge. Oh, okay. The first wrestling game on the list. Okay, so here's the thing with Revenge. Yeah. When I played Revenge for the first time, I did not know who anyone was. It was my introduction to wrestling because I actually didn't watch it on TV at that time. Oh, wow. So I, I played Revenge before I actually watched it on TV. So I had no concept of who these guys were. Um, I thought AKI Man was a real person. I would have had no idea. So yeah, Revenge is definitely in the top five. Um, and that's because it's the first wrestling game I ever played. And obviously wrestling is, is a huge part of my life, well, especially yeah. now. <laughs> uh, it's my career, so. Um, I used to pick 
Rey Mysterio, Alex Wright, of course, because he was so feminine and doing that whole dance. The, the, the German dance there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Alex Wright, I just go Inferno. Um, uh, who else? I uh, so these are where the dancing moves may have might have come from. Alex Wright, Disco Inferno. <laughs> no, I actually was already in dance school and things like that. Okay, so I? They were the no, I was already, I was not. I was already dancing in my living room, but I definitely was like into dance already. But right. Yeah, I definitely. I would mimic him. I'm not gonna lie, Alex Wright, definitely. You know, he would break out the dance moves for me at the barbecue. Like I would do that. And at the barbecues and stuff like that, <laughs> my family. I think that game's better than the like No Mercy and WrestleMania games. I, the roster is a lot better on Revenge, I find. Well, that's the perfect segue because my next one is actually another wrestling game. Oh, okay. <laughs> WrestleMania 2000. Okay, well now that we've opened the can of worms, which do you prefer more, Revenge or WrestleMania? I prefer WrestleMania 2000 because it's oh. 2000 has a women's roster. Oh, okay. And um, I remember it was the first time I really fell in love with the women wrestling. Um, and I would always pick like Jacqueline and Ivory and <laughs> I always thought that was the coolest thing. And I actually saw Jacqueline and Ivory actually wrestle on TV. That's one of my first matches I remember. So um, it was kind of cool and full circle to, you know, see that. And, to the women, it was really, really cool. And I was, I remember being excited because Revenge didn't have any women. And then when Wrestling 2000 came out and No Mercy came out, they actually had the women. So <laughs> that was really, really cool to me. Um, and it's another thing I spent hours playing. Is this an official number one or is this a- No, unofficial? no, this is not a number one that's um, like, an, like an official, like my favorite because it's weird when it comes to seeing what's my favorite because like I said they all have a different like a special place in my heart and sometimes my top five changes even with music it, it changes with games um how you remember it sometimes on certain days obviously especially with us wrestlers um getting hit in the head <laughs> so um yeah it's definitely not my favorite favorite um it's just more so a matter of a feeling um that I used that I had when I was playing it um, back when it first came out, and I'll say it's Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And, oh um, wow! Yeah, I the controls. It was um, it was the best controls. It was the best like um, gameplay for me at, at the time. Mortal Kombat. Like I feel like it was I, like, even like the new one. Like I don't really like the whole super over the top extraness of it. Like it's very oh, like. Cool. Yeah, the new intense. one scared me. I can't even watch that. It's <laughs> so intense. Oh my god, it's so intense. But yeah, I um, love Deadly Alliance. I think Deadly Alliance is probably like one of the best games. Now, Mortal Kombat, is that where some of your flips came from? You got some Mortal Kombat looking moves. <laughs> um, no, um, my flips and stuff like that came from dance and gymnastics. But um, oh. Sonya Blade is one of my favorite like characters ever. So. Thank you, Sunny Kiss. Hopefully we'll have you back in Toronto soon. Yes, you absolutely will. Thank you.